Vito, you're on that weight loss drug. What yeah. is it? How do you pronounce it? Uh, semaglutide. Oh, okay. That's that's the. Uh, there's the the what do you call it? Brand name too. The brand Ozempic? name is Ozempic. Uh huh. And then there's another brand, uh, Wagovi. How long have you been on it? Uh, about a month so far. Is it a weekly injection? Yeah, yeah. Weekly, you inject it. Uh, and I inject it into my tummy. How? Oh, you do it solo. You don't like go to get it injected. No, because I bought it from some weird website and I had to mix it myself and I'm worried I did it wrong. Oh, but. you got the powder and you had to put it with the water? I got, the water. yeah, I had, a, they get send you these little vials of powder and then you have to add the, you know, whatever, the pure water so to scary. it. scary. Mix it together. <laughs> and like, hope, oh, my drug. And hope that well, it's I'm sure not you got it right the poison. first time ever. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you didn't read all the internet how to and do medical it. science are pretty easy. <laughs> high risk, high reward. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Pharmacists so, don't know shit. I can do this. I, I've seen um, memes about a Zempic being like people claiming like miracle weight loss drug or that's dude. look like at the, the market apparently everybody in hollywood's on it i mean have you seen yeah. like like mindy kaling looks like now have you seen a oh if mindy kaling thin then then, then dude works. mindy kaling thin looks crazy <laughs> works. who is uh, that mindy kaling that's, uh, the, uh, from that's the office, office the indian girl oh, yeah yeah i, I saw Kelly the she Ryan's girlfriend um, she has a new swimsuit line. She has a swimwear collection is how skinny she's got. Can we see hot pictures of this chick's ass? Does she still have that gross birthmark on her shoulder? Let me see if I can find You've pictures got a wild here. memory about uh, some things. So I have a gross birthmark on my shoulder. It's her left. It's my left. Here, I think. I, is this pictures of her, though? Mm -hmm. Mindy One Piece. Uh, oh, there she is. Now I don't want to unlock. No, thanks. Uh, she she actually looked. This is actually must be older pictures because she looks way skinnier than that now. Yeah, she looks unhealthy now. It's cool. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she looks like she's, she's her, like her neck looks like like it can barely support her head now. And she lost like too that. much weight. Not oh, uh, no such thing. She's still alive. Yeah, so Taylor. We were what watching is, the news. She's really funny. She's one of the funnier women in existence. She wrote a lot of The Office. What is it like to be on it, Vito? Does it make you? I'm hearing about how it makes you sick and like gastric distress. And is it a rough life to exist on this stuff? It hasn't been for me. I mean, I'm unhealthy to begin with, so I yeah. probably, you know, I throw up every hour anyway. Uh, no, <laughs> but I, I supposedly the idea is that it just you have less food cravings, and yeah. I I think. You know, maybe it's all in my head. Maybe it's a placebo effect. I'm still on like a lower dose and I'm ramping it up. But there will be days where like I go, hey, I really only ate like one thing today. That's awesome. You know, mm -hmm. whereas normally it's like, uh, I don't know if anyone's experienced being a fat guy, but sometimes you're just like, if I don't eat a cake right now, I'm going to kill myself. You know, <laughs> all of us are like a little sometimes, bit. <laughs> sometimes it do be like that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Honestly, like it feels like I have way more control over my it's not. My food decisions are no longer based on like eat this thing or I'm going to slice my wrists open. It's okay. Well, what do I want to eat? Does oh, it help I'll, with your you know, gambling? That. Uh, well, that's the other thing they say. Actually, it is supposed to affect other impulses. Yeah, they're finding that like as a side effect, like gambling addicts are like, I don't feel the need to gamble as much, or like shopping mm. addicts are like, I don't feel like I need to buy a bunch of shit. Yeah, you know, remember, it actually uh, is rewiring hmm. brains. Uh, I, think, I think Prozac yeah. does that too. Uh, Prozac has some sort of uh, effect where it, uh, it helps with gambling addiction. Yeah. Hopefully, I, I mean, eventually episode. this all reflects and I can have physical <laughs> changes to show. But yeah. uh, for the for the time being, it does it does kind of, I'm like, I think something's happening. I'm you on the juice with, yet? Which juice? The uh, HGH? I'm trying to get testosterone. I keep it, my labs. Keep trying. Well, I, I was trying to get it prescribed. Yeah, of course. So um, go to our boy Derek's website. He's got a clinic. Um, more plates, more dates. Um, okay. It's, uh, Merrick Health. That's what I use. I keep sending in my labs to this company, and they keep rejecting them, and it's taken way longer than. Yeah, so I, I want. would say this: um, different doctors have different viewpoints about what those numbers mean, and really, I think over at Merrick Health, the, they find that it's more about how you feel than what some number on a chart. I'm not sure know. what your numbers are, but Merrick Health thinks they're too low. <laughs> they seem low. <laughs> I, and, and, <laughs> They seem um, to squeeze more fact, tea in here. The <laughs> fact that you already have, but the fact that you already have um, your uh, your blood work done, you can. Yeah. It, you're like six days from having meds if you were to set up an appointment with them because you do like an initial consultation. 
They're like, okay, we'll schedule your blood work. You've already got that. So you skip that whole step. <laughs> then you just have a video conference with the doctor. And he's like, so you're, you know, erectile dysfunction or low energy, like oh, yeah, all symptoms. That. Yep. And he's like, all right, well, you fucking need it. Then I'll put you on X amount of milligrams. Uh, yeah. here's some, and he'll recommend some syringes. Well, I need to get the, I know I was told I should get the pill form because Fuck I don't. that. No, whoever said that doesn't know what they're doing. Do not get the pill form. Well, no, because I don't want to be sterile. You're not going to be, st- oh, well, I mean, <laughs> there's a, <laughs> say, free some, fu- free some, free some sperm. <laughs> How long does free- it take to, to like, I keep to a like, lot in my freezer. So Kyle, let's say they were like, <laughs> Is it oh, all yours? M- Mr. Mr. Myers, no. you won the you won None the sperm donor lottery, which means if you donate sperm right now or within the next couple of weeks, you win a million dollars. Unlikely since I have um, syphilis antigens in my blood. Well, let's pretend you didn't have syphilis. <laughs> and, <laughs> but would you do, be though. able to like in two weeks donate sperm with like like sperm swimming around in it? If you like how long would that take to get back? I to? have no idea what my current sperm count is. I've been told that it's rather low, but not to treat it like birth control. Um, you know, from the testosterone over the last couple of years or so. But um, I have no idea if I wanted to rejuvenate. There's a drug you can take, I think, that assists with kicking the sperm mm-hmm. control, a sperm um, production back in and your own testosterone back in. I think it's not 100% effective 100% of the time. That shit doesn't scare me. I'm not going to be the outlier who fails. I'm going to be the outlier who wins always, right? You got to have mm-hmm. a good positive mind fi- set about these things. And I've got the, f- the sperm frozen in my freezer as a backup. But mm-hmm. I don't want children anyway. In my I would ca- <laughs> yeah, I would absolutely. If if uh, um, what's the thing when a man gets neutered? What's that called? Vasectomy. Vasectomy. I'm a little scared of uh, of doing it because there's the pain and discomfort. You were just talking about you would get an adult circumcision. Yeah, because yeah, that was just a huge me. difference. <laughs> do you remember? Do you remember my reason for the adult circumcision? It's let me ask you this, Kyle. <laughs> what if a lot of women found like fertility being infertile? Uh, a desirable aspect in a mate like oh this guy's risk-free i can bang him they absolutely do they're dudes who are in like uh the swinger community will like that'll be like on their fucking thing like hey just so you know i'm blowing like free loads like like no risk of pregnancy like, <laughs> there like, needs that, to be a term for nothing that. but air comes <laughs> like, like air you know, ballers this, this is just yeah. empty calories shoot blank, you know shoot <laughs> blank. <laughs> you know um you, yeah it's uh if you're airballing, your balls if, are full of If air. I had any reason to to do so, I would. The only thing that keeps me from doing it is the pain and discomfort. I think it's like thirty five hundred dollars or something like that. But well, it's more than I thought. But you know, I think I think you know, I, I don't I don't I don't need that done. <laughs>